Okay, so now we move on to the third calendar. That's the 10 years of sorrow. The 10 years of sorrow are the Psalm 90, 10 um, verses that teach us that the generate the fig tree generation will be 70 to 80 years. And so the 70 years, if you watch the timeline where uh, Queen Elizabeth marks the end of the 70th year, you can you can watch that. And so you know that in 2022, the 70th year ended and we're just lost in the last few bits of 22, just a few more days. And so we know that now the 10 years of sorrow are about to start. These 10 years of sorrow are for what? They're for Israel. Okay. The, they're the 10 days of Smyrna. We know that. And then Rebecca, which goes to me, Isaac, she decides, decides to avoid the 10 days. Rebecca representing the bride um, being taken to Isaac. And in that sense is a typology of the rapture. She is avoiding the 10 days. And Smyrna will go through 10 days of tribulation. Now we know that in the end times, the one day represents one year, most of the time. And so we know these are the 10 days of labor and sorrow. So if you haven't looked at the calendars uh, with the particulars that proof uh, or tell us that 32 is the end of these uh, 10 years, they start in 22, they go to 32. Why? Because we have to go back to Leviticus 19.23 add the three plus one years to 1948, which takes us to 1952, and then is 22, and then 32, with the uh, 1992 Operation Exodus, that obviously marks the 40 plus 40. So we know that these are going to be 10 years for the Jews. These already started. We know that how? Because in 22, we had the Israeli protest. Okay, and that is the sign that was uh, given to us by the Lord on October 2nd, which I posted on October 20th, and then uh, came to pass at the end of December and early in 2023. So we know that the 10 years of labor and sorrow uh, for the Jews, for Israel, have started. So that's where a lot of clarity is being made, and this was a great revelation um, by the Holy Spirit to, that these calendars all happen within this larger period of time but they're not necessarily stacked which means the 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 10 years of labor and sorrow don't have to line up with the rapture don't have to line up with the start of tribulation and so the flood does not have to match into the warning time um, in other words they're working parallel but independently and this is what's finally giving us great freedom and understanding of why certain things are happening and why certain things haven't happened so as we do this, we, we're going to move on into the next calendar, which is the wedding. Okay. Now, the wedding itself is going to be seven years. And so it's going to run from 2024 until 2031. Why 2031? Because 2031, as we have explained in the previous videos, is going to be the second coming. Now, if you haven't watched that video, there's a there's a uh, reminder here of how we got there as one of the pieces and one of them is the 30 pieces of silver plus the one extra coin which gives us the 31 right and then 31 we also know that the 3 BC was established with the star of Bethlehem which then takes us to 31 AD in which the Lord would be 32 years old and so 32 is palindrome to 23 which points out when the rapture will start which is in 2023 which then is uh, also in that uh, Matthew 18 sequence uh, that I explain as we get to the 99 times 99. This gives you the 9801, which then leads you to 1998 and 2001. 2001 um, and 98 matching the 3 BC. Okay, so that's how we get to 2031. And so 2031 tells us that uh, it will be the second coming. And then that will leave us one year to 32, which is the end of sorrow. That matches the idea of the fig tree generation. Why? Because it says this generation won't pass until all of these things are fulfilled, which means the generation has not passed yet and all things are being fulfilled. 
So this this is amazing because if it was matching on the same uh, lining up with 32, it could be uh, could have been worded slightly different. But the Lord is letting us know the generation isn't passed yet, and everything is already being fulfilled. So 31 is the is the year. So we go back seven year wedding. Okay, the wedding is seven years. Seven years because of the traditional Galilean wedding. We're gonna get to 2024, which then matches very well the tale, the story of Mary Magdalene and the disciples. Why, again, if you watch that video, the idea is in John 2016, Mary Magdalene meets the Lord first. And it's it's early in the morning, so we think probably around 4 a.m. And then it says in John 2019 that it would be in the same day or the same day he meets with the disciples. So there's about a 12 hours difference between the two groups. This represents a 12 months different or a year apart, which means that there's a group uh, that meets the Lord in 23, a group that meets the Lord in 24. Now, I'm not necessarily saying there are two raptures. So the, just hold your horses, go through the calendar now, understand why these dates are these, and then we'll make some conclusions later. In fact, you can see here I have one rapture, uh, divided into two uh, parts or two pieces. We'll discuss how that works. But for the time being, what I want you to understand is seven years takes us to 24, which matches, okay, I'm, I'm throwing a lot of information at once here, but try to follow, matches the Judges 1410 Samson. That's when the feast is made, is verse 1410, 14 plus 10 is 24. So we know that that's a sequence that represents 2024, and that's when the feast happens. So the feast is in uh, in 24, but a year earlier, 12 hours earlier, which is representation of a year, um, is 4 a.m., which is when Mary Magdalene, which represents the bride, meets the Lord. So let's spend a, a little bit of time on this. On this teaching before, but Mary Magdalene is the first to meet the Lord who could have met all of them. Uh, if he chose to do so, but he chooses to be Mary alone first. And Mary, we know from Luke 2, 8, that uh, she was delivered uh, of seven demons. So those seven demons represent the seven, we know it's, it's 6.3 ultimately, but seven demons of the tribulation. And, uh, and those demons come back in Matthew 12, 43 to 45. Those are the demons that come back for the tribulation. So Mary Magdalene is the representation of the bride, okay? We also know that in, uh, in Matthew 16, 23, this is the sequence that tells us that the beast is cast down. So as the beast is cast down, the bride is taken. We do know that 23, uh, it were pointed to 23 being the year of the rapture. And this is what we would be all looking at. Again, we don't know the day or the hour, but this is what we're led to see. And what I mean by that is there is this year gap. Let's put it at year gap. What happens exactly is it's not entirely clear. Like I said, I don't know if it's two raptures or one rapture that happens in between these two years. Perhaps the bride is worn at first or is given clarity because Mary sees the Lord face to face and she can go and tell others he is here. He is resurrected. He is coming. So that's one interpretation. The interpretation that perhaps the bride is as Smaller group of people who get to see, and that scene could be at a spiritual scene, um, perhaps, and that allows to warn the rest of the church who are ready to go that the rapture is about to take place. Perhaps this is what's happening as we speak. Of course, the other option it is that is two separate raptures. Now, I do not claim to know this for sure, but I have been pointed to the difference between the two. Now, that explains that. Uh, from there, then we have the seven years wedding, which will take us to 2031. So now here's an additional confirmation. That's again in 2 Peter 3, verse 8. And that's the verse that we all know where the one day for the Lord is a thousand years, a thousand years is one day. But here, look, pay attention. The word two, or the word 1000 is used twice. Why? Because it's the 2,000 years or the two days. Okay, and how is that pointed to the two days? Because it's 2 Peter 3, that's 2023. 8 is 8 years, 8 years from 2023 all the way to 2031. 
That's the eight years. So 2 Peter 3, 2023, plus eight years will take us to 2031, which is the second coming or the two days. This is mind-blowing. This alone pr pr proves 2023 and 2031 and the two days all in one verse. 